Are you his grandmother? Yes, I'm his grandmother. Have you been with him all morning? All morning. I've been with him for three days. How are his lungs sounding, Jeremy? Very intense pulse and rapid shallow breaths. He's starting to seize. We have a patient who is seizing right now. Heart rate is 137 and uh, O2 is dropping. It's down to 87 right now. You're okay. We're almost done. The learning lab is a simulated environment. It's um, staged to allow the students to practice their clinical skills in an environment that's much like the hospital or like a clinic. I design this, the situations to be as realistic as possible. And, and, and we're amazed at how many times we don't have failure. We always expect that they're not going to pick up on, you know, subtle cues that, that we send them. But, you know, this, this group of students who had never met before functioned as a team their first day, and it was quite amazing. Fidelity speaks to how true the, the situation is, um, or how true a mannequin is, how lifelike is it. I think that interprofessional simulation actually increases the fidelity. It doesn't increase it by putting you know, extra you know, plastic there, it increases it by recreating what the students are actually going to see, which is a respiratory therapist is going to come in when you call for a rapid response or a code blue. A pharmacist is going to be there to assist you in giving medications, and nursing is going to be there working side by side. That's fidelity. I was really impressed by the fact that you got what you needed to get done. Being in those situations helps build their confidence, and even though they they are concerned about people watching them, they still realize that it's an excellent learning situation. So I think you kind of go from learning stuff in a book, then you come to the sim lab, and even then it's still kind of, you have a little bit of a shock factor, like, oh my goodness, I really need to do these procedures that I've been learning about. In every simulation, we kind of team together and say, all right, plan of attack, and not knowing that the baby's gonna seize or going into simulation, not knowing what exactly is gonna happen, you still go in with the plan of, we need to introduce ourselves, we need to assess this infant, and then go from there with what happens. We have brought in the School of Health Professions. Um, we've, we've worked alongside people from physical therapy. We've also um, worked alongside people from respiratory therapy. Um, putting nursing and, and medicine together has been, you know, very rewarding. But then adding pharmacy and, and respiratory therapy has been even even better. Uh, it just makes the whole situation richer. Um, and just communication with parents and just, you know, for myself, thinking of things that I need to review or go over or work on. And... I think it's important that when students sit down with us in the debriefing that we're able to point out both sides. These are things that we we loved what you did, and here are some things that need some improvement. What do you think about giving Kara oral Tylenol? Because Grandma kind of said she's not acting normal. She was crying. And a lot of times, things that I think uh, might actually need to be changed, I, I change my mind when I hear what the student was thinking. 